Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. ChatGPT crossed 1 million users in 5 days and it's currently close to 100 million users that are actively using ChatGPT to get answers. For any search, the default website that we all open is Google, which is where once ChatGPT became successful, there were questions that do we actually need Google? And it was about time that Google would have come up with something. So Google allegedly had also created something called as code red in the organization, signifying that there is threat from ChatGPT. All of these may or may not be true. It is all alleged. Uh, all of this was part of some documentation that I read. But irrespective of whatever I've read, all I have to say today is Google has recently launched Google's BARD, which is a direct competition to ChatGPT. And in today's video, I'll give you my thoughts regarding how Google BARD would kind of kind of beat ChatGPT, if I may say so. Uh, they've kind of rolled out this particular model for testing for some set of testers. Am I a tester or not is something that you can keep guessing. But what I will do today is I'll give you all the thoughts that I have with respect to Google's BARD. And uh, yeah, let's kickstart the video. The generative AI era has become really, really interesting. You have two top-notch companies creating really large language models and they're kind of gunning for your attention. It all started from a simple paper called as Attention is All You Need. Again, that was something that was open sourced by Google. And attention coupled with transformers has kind of transformed the entire natural language processing segment. All the cool, amazing solutions that you see today are all because of transformers. The BART model that I'm talking about today is also something that is behind the scene running transformers, but it's running on something which is a special model created by Google called as Lambda. Now, what exactly is Lambda? Well, Google calls it language model for dialogue applications. So all the dialogue conversations that you have with a chatbot or the conversations that we have with each other is all that Google has captured and it's created a model out of it. They weren't releasing it for security reasons because they want their models to be extremely accurate. So they've now currently rolled out a beta testing program for a limited set of users and they're kind of testing the efficacy of the solution that they've created. Since I've spoken about ChatGPT and BARD, uh, I want to bring out some amount of similarity as well as differences between the two and what I believe about both of them together. So when you consider ChatGPT as well as BARD, uh, one thing that they have in common is their architectural structure. And uh, when I say architectural structure, it's not about the entire model, but the smallest part of that model is where transformers fit in. So transformers, again, going back to attention is all you need, the 2017 paper, that is the common link between the two. So all of the amazing NLP models that you're kind of noticing right now, which are gaining so much of popularity, all of them kind of draw inspiration from the attention model or the attention mechanism. A major difference that I find between Google's BARD and uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT is the training data. Uh, believe it or not, the entire internet is something that is stored with Google. So Google has huge amount of data. The entire internet is what is captured by Google. So when Google releases a model, which is BARD, and once it's kind of uh, say available for everyone's access, uh, given the wide variety of data that Google has, I think Google's BARD would be much more better in, in terms of handling different topics or wide variety of topics when you compare it with ChatGPT. ChatGPT on the other hand is fabulous, but I don't think it is trained on the amount of data that Google's BARD has been trained on. So these are my initial thoughts. We'll kind of revisit this video once we have access to Google's BARD. But my guess is that Google's BARD would be much more accurate when you compare it to ChatGPT simply because of the training data that is available with Google. When I talk about performance of both the models, I think all of you know it, both the models are kind of beating the benchmark data sets that are set uh, and the industry is kind of widely accepted OpenAI's ChatGPT as well. So these are my thoughts. I think in terms of benchmarking, you know it, I know it, both the companies are doing great. 
So the models have kind of beaten all the benchmarking scores. The other similarity that I find between Google's BARD and ChatGPT is the purpose. Both of them have only one purpose, that is to answer questions in a conversational format. So think of all the language models, which is your, say, BERT and the others. They've been trained to predict the next word. But here, these two models have been fine-tuned to give you answers for your queries. They're also programmed to remember the state and give you a result post that. So something similar to the conversation that two humans would have is what these two models are aiming to give you right now. The other piece of difference, if I may say so, is accessibility. Currently, at this point of time, when I'm shooting this video, OpenAI has basically created a paid service for using ChatGPT. There is also free service accessible. But if you want like real-time access wherein there is no downtime, then you have to pay for the service. My guess is when Google's BART service comes out, it's going to be free. Uh, the reason is simple. Google's main revenue model is through its ads. And if it's able to better give you results along with the right ads, it will make more profit. So my guess is Google's BARD model would kind of be free for everyone to use. And ChatGPT is currently in the beta phase, which is where people will have to pay money and get results from it. Two reasons why I feel Google's BARD can kind of beat ChatGPT. The first is again, going back to the training data concept. I think Google has tons and tons of data, uh, so much data that even we cannot imagine. So with that amount of data, and if it's trained on something as significant as Lambda, I think the conversations would be much more natural. Just imagine the amount of training data that would have been used for training the entire model would give it that particular edge when you compare it, uh, say against ChatGPT. ChatGPT on the other hand made a very smart move wherein they kind of opened the entire access to everyone. And through the feedback, they've kind of kept improving the model. So these are two different approaches. Google, on the other hand, has been a bit conservative in terms of what they want to roll out. But I'm pretty sure once Google's BART comes out, that would be fairly accurate when you compare it against ChatGPT. The second advantage that Google's BART would have over ChatGPT is again pricing. Pricing is that game where any, any consumer would like to try a product for free. So what Google's basic revenue model is through ads, they'll kind of give you the solution. They'll kind of make money through the products that they sell, which is ads. So I believe the solution would be free and it would kind of uh, help users use Google's BARD free of cost. But at the end of the day, they'll kind of serve you more customized ads and that is how they'll make money. So these were my thoughts regarding Google's BARD. And I'm pretty sure you would have some thoughts in your mind in terms of how Google's service would be. So comment down below in terms of how excited you are for Google's BARD and what are you expecting out of Google's BARD that is different as compared to ChatGPT. We will revisit this video or I'll kind of create one more video once. Uh, Google's BARD is available for public use. So that is something that I kind of definitely create. But for now, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you soon in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching the video and hey, before I wrap up, a sub to the channel would be really, really motivating. Thanks again for watching the video.